All right, so we're back, and um, we've done all of the methods that we need to do, the functions that we need to do on the linked list, except reverse. We want to be able to reverse it. So normally, our linked list looks in diagram form about like this. Put this down here. Looks like this. What we want to do is have it look like this, right? So since we can't actually just start at the tail and just start working our way back like this, we're going to have to start at the head and move forward this way, switching the arrow, uh, switching the next property as we go. Reverse is kind of hard to explain, so I'm going to write it out and then we'll walk through the code. So reverse. And let's just go uh, off the top. We'll just go if uh, not this dot head. Uh, we just want to return false. And then, so that's cool. The next thing that we want to do is let node, I'm just going to make a node variable, and I'm going to set it equal to this dot head. And then I'm going to set this dot head equal to this dot tail. And then I'm going to set this dot tail equal to node. Just flipping them like we've been doing. Um, so we're good on that. The next thing that we need to do is make a couple of variables. We'll make one called pre for previous. We're going to set that equal to null to start, and then we'll have next, and we'll just declare that. Then let's do our for loop. So for let i equal uh, zero, i less than this dot length, i plus plus. Okay, so cool. We're good there. So what do we want to do? What we want to do is we'll go next equals node dot next. So I'm going to write all this out and then we're going to walk through it. So next equals node dot next. Node dot next is going to equal pre. Pre. Ah, this is really bothering me. And up here as well. Uh, node dot next is going to equal pre. Pre is going to equal node and then node is going to move and equal next. Right. And then we'll just, uh, if all that goes true, we'll just return true. Right. So that should be good. Let's go ahead and take a look at our list real quick. Whoa. How the hell did that happen? Xcode select and install. Weird. I don't know how that happened. Uh, iOS development, man. And <laughs> it didn't revert. Or wait, this is what we have. We haven't ran reverse yet. Man, that freaked me out. Okay, so list.push. Um, we've got all this, and this is what our list looks like so far right here. And okay, so now we need to reverse it. Sorry, that threw me off. List.reverse. Let's see if it works. And then we'll walk through the code. Cool, 54321. It did work. So let's walk through this code. So let's get our little diagram right here. Uh, let's go derp, derp, derp. Okay, so this is what we want. And right now, starting out, I'll show you what it looks like. Try to get this done properly. Cool. All right. So let's do it like this. If this I had return false, well, it does have a head, so we're not going to return false. Let node equal this dot head. So node is going to equal this dot head right here. Let this dot head equal this dot tail. So now this dot head is going to equal this dot tail. So your head is going to be here. Then this dot tail equals node. Node equals this. So we've flipped the head and the tail. So right now, this one right here is node. And I'll put a small in there for node. Now we made a 
variable previous and a variable next. Previous is equal to null right now. It's almost as though it's sitting over here. We'll just have it sitting over here in our imagination. And then we have one called next, and that's not set up to anything. So when we enter our loop, next is going to equal node.next. Well, we know that node is right here. Node.next would be right here. So we'll put a big N for next is in our first, when our loop first starts, next is right there. Then node.next equals previous. Well, node.next equals previous. Well, previous is null right now, so it's not going to equal anything. Then we're going to set previous equal to node. So now previous is going to equal node. So we have node and previous here. Then node is going to equal next. Now we move node over here. So now node and next both are right here. So then we go through the loop again. Next equals node.next. So node.next would be here. So this would be next. Node.next equals previous. So node.next equals previous. So now you see, boop, boop. now we're pointing that way. Previous is going to equal node on the next line. Node is going to equal next. So now we're here. Then the first line of the next one going through, uh, whoa, right here. Next equals node.next. It goes here. Node.next equals previous. Previous equals node. Node equals next. And they're both right here. And it basically does that for the entirety of the list. And that's how you reverse a uh, singly linked list. Now, if that's a little bit confusing, all of this stuff that we went through today or, well, the, the videos that I've made today, it's a lot, you know? So, like, insert, remove, reverse. When you start getting down to those, you know, it's a lot to take in. So if you're looking at all of this and you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed, don't worry. Just go back, watch the videos, and practice, 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 practice. Practice will make you better at this. Even if you're not, even if you feel like you're kind of fighting uphill, just being able to write code quickly and efficiently is 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 ninety percent of it, the enjoyment of doing this. So um, I was gonna make a video talking about space and time complexity of this, but I don't want to make a video just about that. So I'm gonna make a series of videos about big O notation in a couple of days. So I'll talk about why you would use singly linked list as opposed to an array or you know doubly linked list or something like that. So for right now, if you've ran through all these videos that I've made today, this little series on singly linked lists, that's good. I'm going to do one on doubly linked lists next, uh, and a lot of the same functionality in that. So, um, and after that, I might do some more data structures. I don't know. So let me know if you guys liked the series. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. And uh, yeah, I hope you all have a good day. Take it easy.